Equality between men and women is one of the fundamental human rights. At the same time, this is the one of the main tasks of the Millennium Development Goals of the UN. Information and communication technology is one of the tools which can assist to, to uh, achieving these goals. One third of the world's population is still waiting to make their first phone call and only one fifth of them have access to the Internet. Majority of them are girls and women. Communication infrastructure is usually concentrated in urban areas, while in rural areas they are underdeveloped and sometimes absent. For instance, in most villages women don't have access to Internet and even to central television. Due to hard economic background, they cannot afford having satellite antennas to watch TV. This leads to information vacuum. Women and girls lack access to the information about the state services they may use to improve their social welfare. They uh, cannot become familiar with the legislation about their rights and responsibilities, as well as the opportunities the rest of the world may be offering them. There are a lot of exams when in rural areas girls are forbidden to use their mobile phones. They even need special permission to talk with their male friends. In the families where domestic violence takes place, women even cannot call the law enforcement agencies and ask for help. It is important that women and girls have the access to the modern technologies. Otherwise, they will fail to obtain uh, broad information about reproductive health, family planning, human trafficking, domestic violence and other related issues that are so important nowadays. Standing behind the news in various parts of their own country, they will fail to realize how important it is to contribute for their uh, country's development and welfare because otherwise they will uh, lack self-esteem and stay undeveloped. Access to the technologies will help people transform from passive to active citizens who can take part into country's political and social life, contribute to gender equality and eventually lead to democratic transition of the state. However, if girls and women have no access to ICT, they will fail to obtain knowledge, improve skills or become self-confident. I believe that today we must understand that only access to ICT is not enough because for transition from access to effective use, we need knowledge and resources as well.